Hey, what's up, guys? So today, I think I want to show you guys kind of like the background stuff I've been doing with Stay Driven, right? Um, kind of shed some light, maybe show you my process of what I'm doing um, for the louvers and a new secret part that I'm putting together. Um, I think you guys will like it. I think I've seen one person in like Japan have it. I don't know. I don't know if they made it or if they have. If somebody, I, I haven't found it on the market, basically. So I want to believe somebody made it, right? Um, but I'm gonna show you my process on how I do these things or how I'm doing them because after so much research and so many like trying to go and find like people that can do it for me, I mean, the the, the prices that they're charging is ridiculous, right? Um. And I don't, I don't want to have to be in a situation where I have to charge y'all upwards of $300 just for some damn, you know what I mean? Like, I don't want to do that to y'all, you know what I mean? Just to make up for what the manufacturers are charging for me, you know what I mean? So um, I'm going to show you guys how, how I'm doing it because I am a 3D environmental artist myself by trade. I've, I've you know, got my bachelor's at Arts Institute of Fort Lauderdale. Um, was in the gaming industry for upwards of almost 10 years. So I, I know how to do 3D, right? Make, long story short. Um, so what I'm gonna do is kind of turn you guys around, show you um, how I'm gonna do it. Um, the process, like putting it together and then using the 3D printer, how I'm gonna get it with the 3D printer. The, the really, the only thing, the only reason why I'm saying the price is that the price, um, per like filament for the 3D printer because I'm not using no regular filament. It's, it's gonna be high temperature, high grade filament that can sit outside and not melt on the side of your car type. You know what I'm saying? Um, so I'm using that kind of filament. That's just high grade, high temperature stuff. Um, which in the in the grand scheme of what other manufacturers was caught, you know, charging me to, to actually build it, like to actually make the actual uh, stuff for me, that's, a drop in the bucket compared to what they were charging. You know what I'm saying? So the price would only be dictated by the amount of filament I need to build for it. So, but anyway, that's a lot of detailed mumble jumbo that I don't, need, I don't think y'all even want to care about. But I'm going to turn the camera around and kind of show you guys the process of what I've been doing. All right, let's go. All right, guys. So as you can see, I have a little bit of an idea with the tail lights. So that's why that's blued out and it has the little marking dots on there um, because uh, the app that I'm using straight on my phone, right? Uh, is gonna help me uh, isolate just the model, just the object that I have wrapped with the, you know, the masking tape and the white dots. The app is so sophisticated that it allows me to just, instead of pulling all of this stuff around, it's able to just isolate what I want, and that's what these dots are for. Um, and the fact that it's blue on the contrasted black with the dots, the app is able to say, "Hey, okay, this person just wants to put this in the in the in the in the uh, the 3D app." Okay. So same thing with this. Um, I tried to do it without, you know. Again, I'm just testing stuff out. I tried to do it without the the dots and the blue tape. I mean, it was pulling all kinds of crap. Um, and I found out this is the best way to do it, which is a very simple way. You just got to mask off the parts that you want to put inside 3D, and then you can turn it into an OBJ. And OBJ is a file format that a lot of 3D programs use. It's like a, a, a universal file format, if, if I got to explain it, um, that a lot of different 3D apps can pick up on. So o, dot .obj files is what these are going to get turned into. And then once I do the models and I, you know, I get them all smoothed out and perfect, I'm gonna turn them into an, a .stl file. .stl files are the file format that 3D printers use. So it's a lot of technical stuff that, again, I just kind of wanted to show you guys the process. I'm gonna probably have flashing through the, uh, the, uh, you know, the video right now to show you guys uh, how this app actually works and what it's actually pulling. Uh, you know, when when it's processing and what it's what it's trying to render on the, uh, you know, on the actual car that you're, you know, whatever piece or part that you're trying to put in 3D, it's it's rendering that out. The next step to what I have to do is I have to uh, measure this stuff out, 
right? Um, I'm gonna measure it in centimeters and then put it into my 3D, 3D app to be able to get the correct sizes, right? For both the tail light and this. And once I get the correct size up and ready, I'll, uh, you know, I can, I can find, I can actually like perfectly get it in there. And the good part about it in being in 3D, I don't have to do two, two pieces of job. I can just literally mirror this model. When I complete it, I can just make a copied mirror of it and the exact same copy would be flipped so it can go on the driver's side, right? Cause this is the passenger side. So once I do this model, I, perf I perfect it, get the edges all perfect and I feel comfortable with it. I mirror it. Copy it over, boom. I can I have two two models. Same thing for the tail lights. The same same process. You mirror it, you now you now have a second model to use for the driver's side rear tail light. Um but yeah, I'm 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 loving it. I'm loving it. Um so yeah, let me um I'm gonna probably go and like I say, start flashing on the screen the processes of this stuff. Um there's nothing major, major um in terms of uh you know detailed information of what I'm showing you. Um, I will probably go into my 3D app and like import these files into my 3D app so you guys can see. So I'm gonna have like a little screen recorder of my 3D app that I'm using to, you know, to extrapolate this information from this app that I'm using. Um, and from there, I can be able to just show you guys the process of how I'm making, your, how I'm making you guys your louvers and this, but we'll get to that later. I don't wanna, <laughs> I don't wanna spill the beans on that later, but yeah, we, go, we getting on this. And I also got an idea for the front tail lights, the, uh, the spec D's. I have a, I have a, a little bit of an idea with, with this. I want, I'm not, I, again, I don't want to give any of my idea away right now, but I want to do something with the tail light. I want to, you know, I know they have these little eyelids that you can get and it seems like everybody has them shits, but I want to do something else. Like it's, it's a lot of black, black area up here. I want to do something else, something that looks a little cool. Maybe something that matches with the uh, the carbon fiber hood, you know, the vent design. Do something like that on here. I don't know yet. I don't know yet. But like I say, this car is going to take a huge transformation when it comes to G35. And I'm hoping that what I got planned is going to put not only myself with Stager Media, on the map, but it actually puts the G35 in a better place um, in the car community, you know, because, you know, these cars are not really given any kind of love, really, uh, from the from the G35 community. Not saying the community itself, but just the car community, the manufacturers that, you know, for, you know, the aftermarket manufacturers for the G35. Nobody really does anything for them. You know what I mean? We got to kind of get whatever crumbs that the 350Z don't want, we got to put that on our cars. Like, nah, nah, we doing something for the G35 for 2023, man. Straight up. All right, guys. So, yeah, that's it. That's the end of the video. Um, I just kind of wanted to put this video out just to show you guys a lot of what I'm working on, a lot of what I'm doing behind the scenes, and also trying to let you guys know that my time that I've been putting in as of late, you know, reason why my videos hasn't been really, like, being thrown out there so much because I'm doing so much other things, you know, behind the scenes. So, um, but yeah, I think the stuff that I've, you know, I, I've been writing a list of stuff that I kind of want to do um, in terms of car, you know, parts and stuff like that. Stuff to kind of make the G a little, just a little bit better than what it was. Um, that list is getting real big. So, again, if you like content like this, if you guys kind of want to, you know, go through and kind of see the process for like 3d printing car projects and you know car parts and stuff like that um let me know in the comments um also if i haven't said it already i'm gonna be doing a another youtube channel that basically it's gonna be called stay driven media live and that's gonna be the channel that i'm gonna put a lot of like the overhang of, of clips that I've never got a chance to put on the uh, on, on the main channel, which is Stage Real Media. So Stage Real Media Live is going to be the actual YouTube channel that I'm going to be using to just kind of dump a lot of my old clips and or new clips that uh, that just kind of just won't really make it to the main channel. Um, that seems to be a, a real popular thing that's been happening now. And what it'll do is it'll, it'll allow me to take the guesswork 
out of taking the footage that I have and trying to put together a, a, a nice little video for you guys on the main channel where I can just say, hey, this is some a clip of just the guys hanging out, doing a quick little install or something here. And let me put it on the backup channel here, the, the you know, Stage Remedia Live channel. That channel won't have a lot of intro, outro stuff. It'll just be raw, a lot of raw footage just being dumped there so you guys could have some content when you're not watching the main premiering videos that are on the main channel. I hope I explained that properly. But anyway, as I always say, guys, stay humble, stay blessed. The best thing you could do is stay driven. One.